Christmas. Hi everyone. We're making a Frankenstein electrical oh. neck pillow. Okay. So our issue is we like the vibration that's in this pillow. And then the massaging in this pillow. And the rechargeable battery is in this pillow as well. Yeah. So this one is not rechargeable. So we're We're wasting a bunch of money on batteries. Yes. So it's constantly um using AA batteries nonstop. So this one has a rechargeable battery that should be pretty close to the the voltage of two AA batteries and it's rechargeable. What we're gonna do is take all the internals in here, we're gonna wire it up to this one with this battery and this should have dual shiatsu massage and vibration too. We're gonna add the other switch to the other side. So let's go ahead and get started. And while she's working on that, I'll take apart this one. So you can see it simultaneously. I think you should be taking apart this one. Okay. We're swapping. Yep. So you unzip it as much as you can. Make sure the wire goes through. We will remove the side that doesn't have any buttons or controls. First, there. This is what you're left with. And make sure the charging cord slides through. I hope I don't break it. And this has Velcro on the buttons. Alright, so now We'll save this cover because we're, we're going to reuse this cover. Set it aside. This is the motor, all the buttons. So there's three buttons on here. These are just to keep the, the cover from shifting and moving. This is the battery pack. And if you take that apart. So we'll, we'll show you the inside. So in here. That. It looks like it's about a, what is that, five volt battery maybe? Yeah. It should take, it sh if this, yeah. wait, okay. huh? It should be pretty equivalent to two AA batteries. Mm -hmm. But, what did that only be it does? Um, we're going to use one or the other probably. I don't think we'll use both of them simultaneously, often. Oh. Um, so you have a choice, one or the other. Mm. How far should I take the cover off? This cover should go all the way off completely. Okay. I will go grab. It's not gonna come off completely because it's like that. Okay. Should we go ahead and cut that off so that. Yes, yeah, so we don't need this battery pack anymore. Let's see. Okay, here, use these wires, uh, these snips. Wait, what? Yeah. Can we first cut the fabric, that way we have a... No. Um, what you do is you cut the wire, and then you can just pull this one out, and then pull this one through. So cut the wires, I'll show you what I'm talking about. You can cut both of them at the same time. Should be okay. N next to the where it's tied. Or a little lower. We need... Yeah, go ahead and cut right there. We're gonna extend the wire out. Okay, and pull that out. Ooh. I might use this for something else. Yeah, so we'll, we'll refurbish it for, or reuse it for another project. Battery pack. Okay, so we'll set this pillow aside. With this pillow, you can see the button. We need to take all this apart. This what, is... The tools we're going to use today is... Skins. The skins. Let's go ahead and use a razor. We're gonna have wire crimps. And then snips, wire cutter. Yeah, snips, um, a whole bunch of wire connectors. And, and some other things. And we're gonna go grab extra wires. You're gonna grab them because I can't. Okay, so what would, we're gonna take, so this is the vibration motor right here. We're not gonna take that apart. 
Um, yeah, so we want all the wiring and now we need this button. So we have everything except the, the button. button. And what what we're gonna do is here. Here, no, no. You take this knife yeah. and you cut. Cut it along the seam as or cut right there where you already ripped. Right there. Keep cutting. Yeah, it's like operation, right? There's actually a show called operation. All right, a little higher up. Yeah, right there. Angle, just angle it. Same same spot, but just angle it. There. Okay. Let's That's see. So cool. We'll just go ahead and rip it. How about that? And there's the button we need. Wait, because we need we need the foam that's on it as well. Yeah, hold it one whole unit. Yeah, don't pull the wires. There. Okay. Okay. So now we have this is the control unit. And these wires, we need to splice it into this battery pack. And then it'll, it should work. So my assistant here will go ahead and reassemble this pillow. While I go and look for wires. We need wires for this to reattach. We're going to install it on this side. Vibration. Too tall. In there. Maybe then, you should put the vibration over here. Or so, where it's, you can just slide it in. Okay. Yeah, well, we'll see in a bit. But I have to go grab extra wire because this positive wire isn't long enough. Maybe the negative, but probably. Yeah. We'll go get wires. She's gonna... Try. She gonna will. Try. She will put that back together. <laughs> Did you get that out of the trash can? Yeah, we tossed this earlier. It was just a little um, LED control panel. And we're not going to use it for anything. So we can use these wire, these connectors. It'll be a quick connect. This is difficult. You need help. What you do is you, you put it just like pants, you put it on one leg at a time. So one side at a time. I'm doing bull. <laughs> Good luck with that. Okay, I'm cutting these. So we're going to use these leads.
Okay, so I'm just stripping these wires right now. And I will go ahead and just, we are going to plug. So we're gonna add a quick connect as well. And if I needed to disconnect it later or do other projects in this pillow, in the super pillow, maybe we can add an extra battery pack to last longer. And I can use these connect. Yeah, and the shower right? only lasts like. So this would match, yeah. So that would be cool if this was on this side and we can charge it as well. Yeah. Make sense for it? Mm -hmm. But for now, we'll just use this directly connected to this battery. So what we'll do is we're going to tap into these two wires, positive and negative. Wire, wires to those wires. Don't destroy it, bad. You can't forget the computer chip makes it so it only lasts ten minutes. So you have to actually tap into the we, actual battery pack. Yes. So we are bypassing this control panel, and we're going pulling directly from the battery. So this, this right here, these two wires, red and black, are connected directly to this red and black. I can't the rest of the way. Good job. We're just trying to zipper it back up. There, she did most of the work and it looks pretty good. Looks like a normal neck pillow, just with an on button. <laughs> that won't work. There. You pretend you're pressing a button all day long. Maybe, maybe we can put in speakers in there later. Maybe. Um, There's a couple holes that are already in there. There you go. We can put in a subwoofer in there, and then we can jam out on the airplane with a subwoofer. <laughs> Shaking the whole plane. <laughs> People are going to be like, where's that music coming from? It might not pass the um, security though. <laughs> yeah, TSA might have a problem with it. Okay, so right now we will splice, or not splice, but strip these wires. Stripping is when you grab the outside of the... It's like taking your clothes off. <laughs> 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 like my daughter said, it, apparently it's well. It's taking the covers off of wires. Yeah. So then you want the wire connection, but you don't want the the plastic sleeve right here. Maybe you should be worn. It's okay. We're gonna yeah, we can edit and crop whatever later. All right. So these wires. Which one? Hmm. Oh, right. I'm going to start sorting everything. We will use... You know what? I don't think we need to use any of that fancy stuff. Here, just... This? Okay, give me that one. This one? Yeah. Um, Why not this one? The ones that I have a lot of. That means I don't use it often. Oh, then this one. Whatever there's a lot of. We'll use it for this. Okay. So... There's a lot of those circular thingies. Yeah. We'll go ahead and use this as a little wire. Red. You look at this tool and there's a little red. It tells you what gauge it is. 12, 18 gauge to 22 gauge. Red. You pinch it. And then basically... 
that keeps the wires together. Wow. Wow. With this, I normally like to snip or clip this off. Like that. So, that, so it doesn't accidentally touch anything. And, and then you cover it, that way those wires yes. don't electrocute you. Electrical tape. I normally go straight sure. for the electrical tape. So, my sister here will wrap that up. Okay. There, so there's one wire connection. That one is going to, what, do you see how there's two different um, wires right yeah. here? Mm -hmm. One has, one has stripes. The one on the bottom has stripes. The top one has letters. So we're using, the one with letters will be negative, which is black. This red one will be positive. So it'll be on the striped one. We'll connect these two. Same one. You can just give me the same one we used earlier. Okay. Here, well, slide it on and crimp it. Slide it on and crimp. Yep. So you twist it and then make sure it pops out to the other side a little. Um, not too far. Pull it down a little. There, right there. How's that? Yeah. Can you go check on your sister's pants? Yep. Oh, okay. Mom has it. Okay, so this one's connected now, and you kind of tug on a little. Don't make tug sure. too hard, make sure. Make sure what? Make sure it doesn't come out. Exactly, and then we're gonna snip this again. I use the word snip for cut. Same thing. <laughs> Excuse me. Very ladylike of you. That's some electrical tape. Yeah. How many inches is that? Maybe two. Right. It's two. All right, let's do two inches of. Okay. We can get physical and take some ruler and actually measure, but we're not gonna do that. Yeah. So go ahead and wrap that up. Okay. While she's working on that end, I'll work on this end. Earlier we said. The ones with the stripe wire connects to red. So this stripe wire positive. needs to splice into this red. And what we're, we're gonna do the same exact thing. We're gonna snip this. Cut. We're gonna cut that. Now we will strip it. Okay, so you can see those two red wires. I just uh, we just cut it right in half. We're going to connect this full circuit with this. All right, we said it was a striped one, striped wire. Goes with let me look, let me look. Red. Okay, stripe. Yep, yeah, stripe wire red. We're connecting, we need another connector. Perfect. Slide this over, crimp it. 
So when you crimp it, it holds it all, everything in place. It's also known as pinching yep. with a metal thing in this S case. Snip. And tape. Exactly. It's like a fair belt line. So my assistant will go ahead and tape that up. done. All right, now we need to do this negative wire, black wire. How are we supposed to do that? Same exact way we just did the red wire. We snip this, <laughs> cutting it in half right there, cut, strip these two wires. This is about 20 to 22 gauge. It's tricky because it's so close. And tiny. Yes. But we could do it because we did the other one. There. One Ooh, move. Yeah. That's so, thin. Yeah, very thin wire. So you have to be really careful when you're stripping it so you don't cut, you don't rip the whole wire. Okay. So if you see, we went ahead, we have two wire leads right here. And those two will connect to this. So we need another wire connector. We need another crimping connector. Right, twisting those wires together. Crimping. This one's a three-way wire. Use both hands. There, you need a lot of power. Both hands. Right there? Yep. Oh, slipped. Let go. Yeah. Oopsie. Okay, maybe I have to do it. Um, yeah. You need a lot, you need to be, um, have a little, a lot of grip strength to push this metal mm -hmm. um, piece in. And without moving the wires, right? The wires are just sitting there. Mm -hmm. Right. And then do it twice for good measure, right? There we go. Especially on one that's so slippery. Okay. Snip. Cut. Just again would be plenty. And this is the fun part. We will test it before we put everything back together. Make mm. sure that our our crazy invention ends up working. Our Frankenstein electrical neck pillow. There you go. Frankenstein electrical neck pillow. Okay. So my assistant will plug these two black connectors together. Oh, it works. Maybe right. I should so hit this button. Plug it in and then turn it off. All right. That's a lot of power. Probably because that's a two volt and that's a. It's working. Five volt. <laughs> <laughs> it's so it's a super powered pillow. All right. Yeah, and then turn, turn that on, the front button all the way up, press and hold. That one. It works. 
So we have Shiatsu Massage and turn this on too. And we have vibration at the same time. Super pillow. <laughs> it works. Okay, turn it off. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> okay, now that we know everything works, we tested it. Even when it's together. We can go ahead and start reassembly. We're, now we have to look for a good spot to mount everything. How about right there? Maybe put that, the vibration. Actually, no. So we don't want it touching this motor at all because it's going to make a really loud um, rattle. What we will do is we're going to use the razor blade. We will mount this to this side right here of the pillow. Everything, everything is on the left side for the, the, massage. the massage, the shiatsu massage. Shiatsu. So this one, vibration, will be on this side. And then we'll, we'll mount the switch over here as well. Yep. So we're, we're going to cut a square box out of here. Wait, wait, wait. Let's go ahead and grab a Sharpie. And we're going to trace this. I'll hold it. Okay, now we know exactly where we need to cut. There, you can see the rectangular box. My assistant will go ahead and cut away. Be really careful. We'll keep this sharp over here as well. Here. I'll hold it. Here, move your hand. We're trying to, the, the angle of it is. Yeah, I have to make sure I move my hands because if, if it slips. And that's going to be yeah, we, ugly. We don't want to go to the hospital. <laughs> Cut off things. Let's, let's try this. Instead of. Instead of the razor blade, let's go ahead and try scissors. We're gonna stab it in, cut. Those are bad scissors. Definitely. How are we supposed to work under these conditions? I'm gonna go get some other scissors. Oh, maybe, no. It worked, all right. That's better than razor yes. blade. So this actually- You retire, old guy. Yeah, so the scissors, you can just stab it through and then start snipping it away and it actually um, was a much cleaner cut. Two. Yeah. Snow! <laughs> Making a snow. So we have, right right now we have all the sides cut, but now we it's still like, yes, it's still attached underneath. So you go underneath, you can either rip it out or try to snip at it. That way it's a bit cleaner. Exactly. Hopefully it fits. It's kind of. Okay, we have to go deeper. If you, if you see the shape is correct, but we can go ahead and just yank some out. Exactly. Dig some out, put that in. Let's see how much more room we Maybe have. Maybe I should do it this way. Mm, maybe a little deeper. That way we can cover it up without. Okay, so we'll go, go ahead and pull out a little more meat. I wanna cut this so we can make a little sh shape. Okay. Okay, if you can see, it's completely flush in there now. <laughs> and it's we flush. will make a lid. We'll make a lid for this. With this one. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, while she's working on making the lid for that, I'll work on finding a spot to mount the new switch. So we want it about the same spot as the other one. On the other side. So we will mount this right here. We will do the same thing as uh, right now for the switch. Go ahead and trace this. And I will unplug this for now because I don't want it turning on. <laughs> Simple. So all, all I did was I can unplug it because it's a quick connect. sharper razor blade here so there's new blades wow in here. I didn't know that you've been keeping that a secret <laughs> I read the instructions when we bought it so there's razor blades that are usually in the handle and we need a screwdriver to open this though in order to change the blade uh-oh Hey, we'll have a finger hold. Oops. That's okay. So we'll just have a finger hold so we can actually. Let's we'll see. Okay. So that's a pretty good fit. What we'll do is take, take some electrical tape. Yes, take some electrical tape and we will cut. Tape. All right, one more on the bottom. And then we won't feel this big plastic vibration. Going round. Yeah, we don't want it hitting our hands or falling out. Electrical tape is probably one of the most secure tapes you can get. <laughs> okay, so that's what we have so far. And you won't even notice this once the cover sleeve is on. This will go here. Can I cut this one? Yes. And while she's cutting that, I will clean up, clean up this snow. Memory foam snow. screwdriver so I'm gonna go ahead and put this um, razor back in the handle we'll just use the scissors for now So it's go that way, okay. then around. So what, what we're going to do is just tape it. Oh. So we, we don't really have to make it indented in. Like the, the other foam. wires? Yeah. So pull around. Pull it back. Okay, I'm coming. Go ahead. I'll hold this for you. 
and go as far as you can with that. Yeah, we'll okay. fill a bit of wire, but that should be fine. Yeah. Well, he's mostly sleeping in it, so. Cut. You do it. Here, I'll let you do it. So what you want to do is tape, no, tape this button. Not over the button, but just the housing. Yep. Just like how we did the the motor. Yep. The lid of the motor. Yeah. Locomotor. What did that mean? Hopefully this is the best neck pillow in the world. I'm, I'm sure That's for 30 something dollars. I'm sure this will be amazing. Okay. With this connector, I believe we will want to, we're going to cut. So since this is already cut right there. That needs to stay out. Yeah. So. We're tucking this in like that. We will cut. So cut a slit. Right there? Yeah. Go all the way through. Cut. Perfect. All right. Go more. So maybe down here. There. Go ahead. So right now, this is a seam where they um, initially glued it, so it's pretty easy to detach. And we'll go ahead and just keep doing it then, and might as well, right? And then check the wires. Yes, we can check the wires so it's more flush. All right. So we just made that little um, channel, seam channel. Pillow. Okay. So now all of that is tucked in. We'll go ahead and tuck this excess wire. Wire. Yep. Stuff. Does it need to be deeper? I believe because it's fine. These. Here. So we'll because it, there. So we'll do one on that side and one on this side. We don't want to cut too deep because we don't want to go through to the other side. Yeah. True. Okay. And now we will tape. Yeah. It may run out of tape. It's okay. We have a lot more. Really? So, yep. Cover up all the red wires. Here, let's do it this way. There. All the way across that seam. We don't want the wires shifting anywhere. Keep going right there. Okay. And now we can go ahead and reassemble the, the cover back on this pillow. Oh, don't blow. <laughs> it's pretty messy. We'll have a lot of foam, memory foam. Warning, there will be a mess. Do you want, want to do it or you want me to? How about you do it because it's a smaller seam. Okay. Zipper. So right now, you want to look for these switches. You need to line up right here, exactly on the Velcro. And then this has to go through the charging port. I'll hold the pillow. Okay, I got it. So we're going to aim we're gonna aim this part first. It's like putting on pants, one leg at a time. Okay, 
Let's, let's see if it is lined up. Okay, it's on, if you can see. Okay, so that's lined up perfectly. Now we'll put the charging port through. And then under its little stretchy tab. There we go. That's where it gets charged. Okay. So this seam, um, zipper seam, stays on this edge over here. It doesn't go in the middle, but it stays on this edge. Which is kind of convenient in our case. Okay, we have one side on. Now you put the other leg in. And we want, this needs to line up with, um, so our switch will be right in the middle. Will we forget about it? We will be able to feel the switch from the other side. We can put a little sticker there or something too if we really need it. There. So uh -oh. before we zip anything, we have to readjust to make sure it lines up perfectly. And so it doesn't scrunch up and everything. Rotating, make sure everything lines up pretty nice. Let's see, how does that look? Does it look centered? Yep. All right, so this seam looks pretty good. We'll go ahead and go over here and zipper it up. Okay, the zipper's on this side. And just take your time. You don't want the zipper to rip, then it'll be. Um, then you have to then, then, back to this pillow. Then you will have to sew, and I don't really want to take the sewing machine out if I don't have to. So I'll take it easy, and with a final stretch, literally, we're stretching it and zipping. Okay. Okay. Yes. All right. So our super pillow. Our Frankenstein. Wow, nice crayon. You want to show the camera? She made some crayons. Yep. So heart-shaped crayons out of Escalator. recycled, recycled um, Left crayons, over leftover crayons. crayons that we're going. I made a whole lot more. Okay. So what we'll do? Is we're gonna test this. There. Well, the massaging still works. Okay, massaging works. Let's see if the heat works. Does it heat? Yes. Okay, and then backwards. Is that the power? Oh, this is backwards. Cool. Okay, so it goes backwards. You can't really see it on camera because it's Power black. off, and then vibration. And it works. And it's so, it's stronger than this one. It's so strong it moves itself on the table. <laughs> okay. I want to test it. <laughs> Front button. Oh. That works. That works. <laughs> it's not so massage. It's, it doesn't vibrate that much over here. It's more over here. Oh, okay. But it's fine still. You it's can, still feel if good. If you lean that way, or if you lean that way, it kind of vibrates this side. Okay. So next time. We'll need to hook up two motors, one on each side, so then it'll be super, super charged. Yeah. Or we can move it into the middle, but because the other motor is in the middle, it yeah. was difficult. And if we put it in the middle, they might shake together and make a clicking noise. Yeah. But I think we're good to go. Yep. <laughs> Definitely. Right. The, the smile says it all. <laughs> Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Thanks. Hope. Comment which. What is in your electrical pillow? <laughs> Hit the like button and subscribe. Yeah. Bye.